All right, well, this is a lot different than the last time I was out, and it was snowy as shit. That sucked. This is actually pretty relaxed. It's cold. I got like eight layers on. I don't think that really means anything, though. My neck is cold. I should have worn a scarf. It's about 19 degrees. As you can see, it did snow, so we got a couple good inches of snow. And, uh... Yeah. So let's talk about why I vlog. I feel like a lot of people are kind of wondering why they should get into vlogging, if they should get into vlogging, all that jazz. Uh, well, first off, I never even wanted to have a motorcycle. I just wanted to. I've always done videos. I do a lot of parkour and free running, like street gymnastics, pretty much. And I never really had the desire to ever buy a motorcycle. But the last bike I had, the DR200, that bike, um, was pretty much given to me, I guess you would say. I got that bike for, for pretty cheap. I never really planned on getting a bike. And when that bike was told that I can get it for as cheap as I did, I picked it up right away. I figured it would be something good that I could learn on. So, I bought that. I already had a GoPro, because I used to wear the GoPro on my chest and on my on my, on my my head when I was doing like uh, mountain bike wheeling videos. I'd also have it for when I was doing like parkour videos and stuff like that. So I had already had the GoPro. I had seen a lot of uh, moto vloggers like Baker X, Derek, Jake the Garden Snake, a rider's life, a couple of those people I would watch, and uh, I just kind of really liked like the the motorcycle scene, I guess, or not so much the motorcycles. I don't really want like a street bike or a Harley, but I really liked like the dual sports scene, the the dirt bikes that you could ride on the road, the super motos, things like that. And I seen that like a lot of people were doing it, so it was really for like whoever, you know, you didn't really have to have anything too special to go out and motor vlog so I started watching a couple more of their videos and when I got my bike I had a couple spare mounts so that's when I, I mounted the the GoPro to the bottom of my helmet and I guess that's the rest is history oh damn that's a big ass bird yeah let's get the shit out of me you vulture So that's what got me into like moto vlogging is I could just go out. I'm gonna have the camera on me anyway cause I don't trust the people. So I put the GoPro so if anything happens as far as the accident goes and things like that, at least I'll have footage of what actually happened. And now that I, you know, I had, I sort of had like a follow, not a following cause I only got like 20, 30 subscribers or some shit. But I kind of had like people that would watch my videos already from like the parkour videos that I would do like the free running videos. And then more people started watching the videos after um, after I started doing the bike videos because I started getting into the original reason why I started NJ Bike Life was for mountain biking. It was to show different uh, mountain biking trails and my wheelies because that's what I love doing on the mountain bike is wheelies. I have yet to try one on this. I'll be honest, I'm kind of scared because these things are a lot more intimidating than a mountain bike. And, um, yeah. I, from that channel, I started doing reviews and stuff. I got a couple of views. And then I figured, why not get into motor vlogging? All I got to do is buy the GoPro mic adapter because GoPro is that badass that they have to have their own mic adapter because the HD2 was perfectly fine with a 3.5 millimeter input. And now the GoPro had to get their own special shit. So I could buy that, I could buy a microphone, ride my bike and talk to it. I was gonna use it mainly just to um, like sync to myself and show videos of me just messing around. But now it's like easier to me. It's not, you know, my channel's not as established and I don't really care. I just put the videos up for whoever wants to watch them. But like, I feel 
I feel good about the content that I put out. And it's, it's not like a job. I mean, I'm going to be riding anyway. The GoPro is going to be on my head anyway just because I want to have footage just in case anything ever happens. And then all I have to do is put a mic into it and talk. Like, that's even better. So, yeah, that's what I've... That's the reason why I got into motor vlogging was mainly because I'm going to have a camera on my head anyway. I'm going to... I like talking. I like doing stuff like this. I mean, I used to play a lot of video games and do commentaries of, like, video game matches and stuff. So, it's not really that big of a difference between what I'm already, you know, used to doing. The only difference is, is that I was pretty much handed a motorcycle. I was able to sell that motorcycle to one of my friends and then buy this motorcycle. And... Now I'm starting to get into like the motorcycle clip like community more and get into like a lot of different like outlets that really let me switch up what I'm going to be doing rather than just you guys watching me riding up and down the streets like as you can see I have like the, the dirt videos and stuff like that so so vlogging to me I mean it's not it's not like a chore that I have to do. I mean, it's fun. I like doing it. It's, it's exciting. Now it's cold as shit, so I haven't been out as much lately. But, I mean, I'm still having fun. I'm still, I'm still going to go out. I mean, I don't care if it's cold. I, as you can tell, I went right in the snow like an idiot, and I fell. But I still rode. after, Even after I fell, I still rode for like an hour just to like get the hang of riding in the snow. So in case it does snow ever again here in New Jersey... I'll be able to ride in the snow and really not have too many worries. Although I didn't take it at the high speeds. I got maybe like, I think like 40 was my fastest and, and I, I felt comfortable with that. I didn't want to go any higher than that. I wish that there was some more like scenic views and stuff that we could have because there's really nothing around here. Like, I mean, I know it's all in the eye of the beholder so I'm sure I could find stuff. But, I mean, I've just been here for so long. I've been in my current location for over 10 years. So I kind of, like, know everything. And there's no, like, secret spots that are, like, cool. There's no, like, major highways or tunnels and stuff like that. So, I don't know. There's just not really much that I can really show anybody. But I do have the GoPro. I do put out vlogs. Uh... If there's any type of footage that you guys maybe want to see, I'll, I'll be sure to do that because, I mean, like I said, I just got into the motorcycling scene just because I was able to get a bike for really cheap and, um, and I was able to sell it for a pretty good price so I can get even a better bike. And I guess after that first bike, after learning how to ride a motorcycle and seeing how easy it was and the different, like, styles of riding. I pretty much got bit by the, the motorcycle bug, and now that's pretty much like all I'm about. So I got the motorcycle in. Once it gets warmer, I'll upload more uh, more videos of uh, more videos of the motor of the of the mountain biking videos. If you guys want to see those still. I mean, I can't not upload, and that's kind of how I started, so they're going to always be uploaded, but it's just too cold right now to be out riding the, the, the mountain bike. I'd rather ride this thing around. I mean, it's cold as shit even with this, so I don't know who the fuck I'm kidding, but this to me is, I'd rather ride this. I feel more comfortable riding this than I do with the mountain bike, at least for right now. Ooh, damn. Ah, uh, it's fucking cold. If you're thinking of getting into motor vlogging, I mean, if you can, if you can talk and like not be distracted by you talking and riding, you should definitely get into it. I mean, the community is it's growing, which is good, but there's always room for more. And that's for sure because right now there's like a couple big names that are out there but if we can grow the community we can definitely get some littler names out there and I've seen a lot with the motovlogging community there's a lot of people that really work together in order to get to like a 
a common goal, I guess, to get more views, for, to get motor vlogging up higher. There's a lot of good channels out there that really help you with the, like setting up the GoPro, uh, different bike tutorials on how to change like brakes and all that stuff. And that's good. Like when you're first starting, like I was, I didn't know what I was doing. You know what I did? I went on YouTube. I looked up videos, and I watched other motor vloggers do what I was trying to do. I learned how to mount the GoPro by Goku. Uh, Goku something 9000. And uh, if I didn't know how to, if I didn't get that, watch that video, I would have never known how to mount the GoPro. And I wouldn't be motor vlog. I mean, I. I don't really like the side mount, but I would have just mounted on the side, and that would have been it. But I've, I've kind of come around to the side a little bit, to be honest. So now, I'm, you know, probably always going to use the side, either the side or the top, because the top is also good for, uh, like, when I bought my motocross helmet, it came with the GoPro top mount already, so there's no point of really getting rid of that mount. You can go, you can go. Go, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. You're welcome. There's really like no need for me to really get rid of that side mount. I mean that top mount on that helmet. So, yeah, that's why I, I chose to really keep the, the, the top view you'll see, you'll see the side view every now and then. Well, mostly now, because I bought the side mount, so it's on both of my helmets. I put it mount on both of them. But the front one, all I gotta do is gotta get, get like a J-hook, and I'll put that one up there as well. On the highway, I thought it'd be a lot colder. It's actually not that bad on the highway. I mean, the sun, the sun is feeling pretty good too. So that helps big time. What the fuck? That lady looked like a, I don't know. She didn't look like she was from around here. Who you texting? I can't breathe. It's cold out here on the highway. And you're just sitting. My hand's getting cold. What kind of gloves? These are the gloves that I have. What kind of gloves would you guys think would be better? These are just some blizzard gloves I found at Home Depot for like 20 bucks. I know Christmas is coming around. Speaking of Christmas, what kind of Christmas gifts are you getting you or your family? I already done all my Christmas shopping. I had it done months ago, but I hope they got me some gloves. Because if it's going to stay cold like this for a while, I de could definitely use some gloves. I asked, I asked for a, a skid plate, a, uh, some pants, some Kevlar pants. So I hope I get that. I mean, I was just trying to go to Safe Brown, what to have them get me. Can't go wrong with pants, like Kevlar pants. Oh my God, it is cold. And that wind is really cold. So that's what I'm hoping to get. Maybe if I get the pants and stuff, or the skate plate, I'll do like a how-to video on how to install the skate plate on this bike. Or different videos on how to like uh <coughs> like reviews oh shit that cough just fogged up my whole thing like a review on uh on how good the different uh the, the pants are compared to like regular jeans i know jake did the rock jeans or it's a regular jeans i'm not gonna go crazy make a fucking crazy ass bracket like he did but i could definitely like do something. Can't do nothing. Or whatever. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Where are all the other motorcycle people? No one's as die try hard as me. Or die hard. I guess they're not try hard. Try hard. Different shit. My hands are getting warm. Warm me up, son. You got the green light. 
knows how to drive around there? Oh, that sun feels good on these gloves. So just to recap, for anyone else out there looking to get into moto vlogging, the reasons I moto vlog, one, I'm gonna have a camera on my head anyway, so why not? Two, it's fun. I like making people laugh and putting up videos of random shit. Three, I like educating people and teaching them tutorials and shit. And four, I like YouTube. Thanks for riding with me guys, until next time! <laughs>